Let's begin ya, Maculata. Easy to propagate, low maintenance, and produce beautiful and edible flowers. What? Edible flowers? Okay, I will to try to taste these holy flowers. Mm. It is so sour. Oh. Hello Sobat FO, Fari have something special. This one is Begonia maculata. The meaning of maculata is spot. So Indonesian people call this Begonia Begonia polkadot. Polkadot is spot. This one is native to Brazil. It grows naturally in the Atlantic rainforest with occurrences confirmed in the Brazilian states of Espirito Santo and Rio de Janeiro. It has been introduced in Mexico, Cuba, the Dominican Republic, and Argentina. Begonia maculata is one of the most adaptive begonia as long as I keep. Easy to propagate, low maintenance, and tolerant in any conditions. And as you can see, this begonia maculata growing so well here. I believe that some of you keeping and growing some begonias in your home or in your greenhouse. As we know, begonia familiar as ornamental plant. But may you didn't know that begonias can produce beautiful and edible flowers. What? Edible flowers? Yes. Begonia's flowers, all of begonia flowers are edible. Beautiful flowers like this one. The color is so holy, so pure as my love for you. <laughs> okay, but do you know the flowers of begonias, the flowers of all begonia are edible? I will to try to taste these holy flowers, these pure flowers as my love for you. I have to wash it first and it's already to eat. Okay, how about taste? Sorry, in Islam, we have to sit down when we eat something or drink something. So, uh, because uh, there is no chair here. Okay, let's try how about this taste. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mm. It is so sour, uh, fruity. This flower contains so many water, mostly like raw fruit. You better to try begonias flowers because so many chemical containing in these flowers. The chemical content of health benefits of begonia flower is as uh, follows, such as vitamin C, this is good for your health, and flavonoid. Flavonoid is good for prevent cancer in Indonesia, known as antioxidant. Alkaloid, saponin, carbolic acid, benefit of calcium, benefit of magnesium. These flowers can be beneficial to the health of the body. You can eat these flowers raw or you better to make salad with these flowers with some vegetable or some fruit. Mm. And I'm addicted too. I'm addicted too. Totally, these flowers is good for your health. So, but FO, I also have Begonia Brevirimosa. This one is the most difficult begonia to keep in low land and moderate altitude because this begonia requires high humidity and cool growing. But when it's already adapted in moderate altitude, this one is able to go crazy, become so huge. As you can see, I have some begonia varieties and this one is begonia pink martin that already 
bloom. Uh, I want to taste this flower. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The taste as same as begonia maculata flowers. As I told you, all of begonia flowers are edible. Next, I want to show you how easy to propagate begonia maculata. I'll cut off begonia maculata stem that already has produce flower they already produce flowers you can see the dry flower is fluorescence and also i gonna show you how to cut begonia ceratipetala begonia ceratipetala this one is begonia ceratipetala So, but FO, as we know, we can propagate begonia leaf, but it's difficult to apply for begonia maculata. I already try for several times, but it doesn't work. May you have different experience with begonia maculata leaf propagations. You can share in comment below. But as long as I do, I propagated begonia maculata stem. So we cut this stem into two pieces, and this also begonia certipetala. May you have question? How about leafless stem? Don't worry, it still can grow. There are two kinds of media I usually use. One is live sphagnumos and water. You can put this cut of begonia into water. It should be growing some root in a couple of weeks. But I love to grow this begonia with live sphagnumos method uh, bismillahirrahmanirrahim we just fill the pot with leaf sphagnumos kembali There are two notes in this stem, as you can see, this one is notes and this one is notes and it should be grow here, there are little puppy here. Okay, and this one, Begonia ceratipetala. Spagnumos life spagnumos is more successful than water propagations. It should be growing some root in couple weeks, like this one. It's already root, so many root over here. As you can see, this is about two weeks. It's about two weeks since I propagate. It was stem without leaf or leafless stem, but now uh, it's already growing leaf here. So, what we should do after? Put them in shady area. Don't put in direct sunlight because 
they need to recovery and to produce some roots so put them in shady area you better to put them in ruang sungkup i don't know in english ruang sungkup okay so but fo this is it easy way to propagate begonia maculata you don't need to watering daily uh, two or three times for a week it's good because this live spagnumos is good to save water so this media good to keep this begonia moist and what it requires to produce some root you can try this method uh, may good luck to you i wish good luck to you uh, i love this propagation method with live spagnumos then with water propagation because as long as i do using this media is the best method than water propagations thank you for watching my video if you have some critic suggests or questions please comment below see you on next video bye